Here's a quick video on how to install the 6936 cross feed extension from Amco. It's going to be a quick video. I can do this by myself, so the camera might be a little choppy. First of all, if you have the recess like this right here, instead of being a flat surface, you need to use a two bolts in a kit, a long one and a one-inch one, two-inch one and a one-inch one. You need to use a longer bolt. First thing you want to do is remove the old stud. Just screw it in there, take a vice grip and get her moving. What you want to do is get all the mold metal shavings that are down in there, get them out. I'm just going to use a vacuum, a shot vac, and just get it real quick. Okay, got that bad boy out of there. All right. Take your new plate, extension feed plate. Put it around there like so. Take two in bolts, set screw. Assembly comes with a new element, so you don't have to buy one of them. Take that. Oh, hang on. I think I messed up. That. that better? Put it on like that, huh? Move the dummy. Okay, that's good and secure. Now Take your nut, thread it up on the shaft on the old on the new stud here. And if you have like a two inch bigger rotor, you use these threads right here. All you do is hand tighten it on this knurled knob right here. Oh hang on now. Messed up again. Hang on. Yeah, let's put this on first. Take your rotor cutter. Set that on there. Now take your knurled stud. It's kind of hard to hold the camera and do this all at the same time, you know. It'd be nice if I had a little help. Screw that in there by hand on the top of the knurled stud. Just till it bottoms out by hand. I'm going to set this on here like this. Give me that all. Okay. Bottomed out now. Take and tighten it up as normal. Get 
get a new nut and everything with this thing. Okay, that's all there is to it. Yeah, I messed it up about four times, but you get the idea. So, if you have a real big rotor, let's see, I'm going to read the instructions. Oh, yeah. If you have uh, A is the first hole, B is the second, and C is the third. So, if you have a I can't read that small print, but uh, see it on here? Uh, no, probably not. Uh, to increase the rotor rammer by two and a quarter, use hole A, four and a quarter, B, and five and a half, you put it in hole C. So you can gain quite a bit. But hang on to your old parts because you might want to put it back together and take that off and, and run just the normal way. This would be if you need, if you have some big rotors, you want a machine or you run out of travel, this is going to give you a lot more travel. So, comes in pretty handy. Alright, that's all I got. Thanks for putting up with this video.